Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you with the UFC 170. No, we're going to take it down right here. Tonight's big fight is, is main evented by two chicks. We got Rousey versus McMahon tonight. We got the judo artist going up against the wrestler. And how are you going to claim to be a wrestler when your last name's McMahon? And you don't even spell it like you're in the McMahon family. UFC honestly should embrace this 100%. They should get Sarah to change her name to become one of the McMahons. Like Stephanie's long lost sister somewhere down the way. Where basically, you know, Vince went off on one of his cocaine binges. He knocked up some old lady. And then, boom, right here, we get this wrestling star who went to the uh, she went to the Athens Games. And she won a silver Olympics in freestyle wrestling. And I'm not talking about with chairs and stuff. I'm talking about actually rolling around on the floor, Kurt Angle style, and taking it down. This is uh, the second time in UFC we've ever had two undefeated uh, fighters going at it. Uh, the last time we had that was uh, Lloyd Machida going up against uh, Rashad Evans at UFC uh, 98 when both of those guys came in with a uh, undefeated record. Even though Rashad Evans came into that fight with one draw, he was still as b billed as being undefeated. When it comes down to it, the judo artist against the wrestler, I'm normally always going to take the wrestler. But uh, Ronda Rousey, she's had all of her fights come down uh, to basically submission matches where she's got the armbar locked in like she's Alberto Del Rio. And, uh, you know, basically the other guy is just a well, chick because, you know, she don't fight no dudes. But <laughs> you know how it is. UFC, pretty soon they're going to get down to it where they're going to have chicks versus dudes, I think, pretty sure, to find who the ultimate survivalist will be. Uh, probably not. But, um... Tonight's going to be a good one. I'm not really sure 100% about what's going on in the under fight. But basically, I really do believe um, that this is going to be a good fight. It's been said that McMahon has, has trained for this fight for the last, uh, honestly, two years. Uh, when she knew she was going to get into mixed martial arts, she knew that she had a shot to beat Ronda Rousey. She knew that Ronda Rousey was going to be the one that she wanted to beat. And she's already ducked this fight once. Uh, the camp has already said that they're, um, they've trained for this fight for a long time, but they'd like to train more. Um... It's up to McMahon if she wants to make a mistake uh, or not, if she wants to get this. I, I think my money is on Rousey to win this. You know, for somebody to have a story of training to fight one person for two years uh, and not be able to get it done, I'm not sure how much longer you really need to train to make sure that you're going to be able to slip out of some arm lock. Um, but basically, the, just for the fact, to me, like, I would normally always take a wrestler. They, they, you know, they sort of, like, have the, you know, they, they're, not, they're not all greased up. You know, they're able to move around the ring and be able to slip around with it. The judo person just wants to get down to action right down there on the ground. But um, I'm not really looking for much of a stand-up fight from this one but that but you know those those fights are the best i don't know but but easily you know if i if, if i gotta put my money down right now i wish i had some cash i uh will bet you a uh my remote control for my blu-ray player we'll put that on the line right here i'm gonna take rousey with the arm bar i say she uh, slaps it on early in this fight we'll have a first round uh, tap out, and uh, Rousey will move on to her next big fight down the road. That is for UFC 70. This is Stevie Breach. Peace out.